Welcome back to session 2, part 4, tutorial. In this video, we will look at how to produce model drawings, generate quantities scheduled, and adding building components. Drawing sheets allows us to share design information with builders, suppliers, and other project team members. In Revit, you can produce detailed drawings from the building model or create a draft drawing to show specific detail. In this exercise, we will create drawing sheet for floor plans, section view and 3D view. We can use the model sample from previous tutorial to create drawing sheet. To create a layout sheet, you can go to project browser to expand the sheet and use the unnamed default sheet to create a new drawing sheet or go to view tab sheet composition panel to create a new drawing sheet in the new sheet dialog select a title block from the list if the list does not show the desired title block click load in the library folder open the title blocks folder or navigate to other folders where the title blocks reside. Select the title block to load and click OK. By default, Revit has four title blocks. We will use the A1 size standard title block in this tutorial. So click cancel and go back to new seat dialog. Select A1 size title block or select none to create a seat without a title block. Click OK when you have complete the section. Rename the created drawings sheet to level 0 floor plan GA. GA stands for general arrangement. Modify a title block. To modify a title block, click the title and detail you want to change. Single click on the title block in properties. Go to identity data. Update to change the information. Click apply when finished. Use the same method, we can create another drawing sheet for level 1 floor plan. To get the drawing to the drawing sheet, we can either click on any view from the project browser and drag to the drawing sheet or select the sheet view from project browser right click select add view in the view dialog choose the floor plan you want to insert you can change the drawing scale to suit the drawing sheet click and select the drawing and go to the properties graphics view scale select the scale you want to make any changes to tidy up the layout in the drawing sheet go to property type selector from the drop down select the suitable view port you can then drag and drop the scale to the location you want if you don't want the elevation marker show on the drawing sheet, you can left click to select one of the markers and then right click high in view and select category. Another method is to trim the crop region view. You can do this in level zero floor plan from project browser or in the drawing sheet. 
left click to select the drawing in the drawing sheet at view control bar at the bottom click on show cropped region and trim the cropped region to exclude the markers click the markers arrow head once to see the clip planes select the clip planes and move closer to the marker for the ease of knowing its location make sure the clip plane outside the trimmed crop region so that the marker will be excluded from the view adjust the far clip planes the dotted green line if necessary notice that the trim cropped region is now smaller than the original one if you forgot this and continue to build object or elements outside the crop region you will not see this object but they are there click height region in view control bar to turn off the cropped region view now go back to the level 0 floor plan drawing sheet. Use the same method continued in level 1 floor plan GA drawing sheet and 3D drawing sheet. Revit allows you to create scheduled quantity and material takeoff to quantify and analyze the components and material used in a project. A schedule is a tabular display of information extracted from the properties of the elements in a project. You can create a schedule at any point in the design process as you make changes to the model that affect the schedule. It automatically updates to reflect those changes. You can add a schedule to a drawing sheet. You can export a schedule to another software program such as a spreadsheet program. To generate a schedule, go to Analyze tab in the Report and Schedule panel. Select Schedule Quantities command or go to the project browser right click on scheduled quantities select new scheduled from the new scheduled dialog click filter list from the drop downs and check all and click to check architecture in the category scroll down to select room click ok from the scheduled properties dialog select the fields you want to show on your schedule such as area, level, name, number and so on. Click OK when finished the selection. To tidy up the schedule, you can remove those fields that are not required. Select the entire column and right click to delete it. You can insert a new column, highlight a column, right click to select insert column. From the select fields dialog, select the fields you want to add in the schedule and move to relocate the fields if necessary. Click OK when finished. Creating a door schedule and to modify doors properties. Use similar method in generating room schedule to create a door schedule.
you can use tile views to carry out the changes in a scheduled click view tab in windows panel select tile view select and click at internal door from the floor plan in properties select edit type from typed properties dialog under identity data update fire rating to one hours and cost to 5000 click ok to complete this dialog now we have updated the fire rating and cost information in the internet door properties we can insert this to the schedule In Revit, components are used to model building elements that are usually delivered and installed on site, such as the door, window, furniture, and so on. For example, a door is hosted by a wall, while a freestanding component, such as a desk, is hosted by a floor or a lever. In Revit, we can have a building components and system components. To place a building component, first duplicate a view from level 0 floor plan and rename it as level 0 floor plan FFNE stand for fitting furniture and equipment We now finished section two, basic architectural modeling with simple structure elements from part one to part four. Thank you for watching.